this is made up of two different string sounds and here's the first one in mono. And as you can hear, the attack here is a little bit too slow compared to the original studio recording, of course, but uh, the sound itself is really nice. And here's the other string sound, a little bit more bright and crisp. And here the attack is much faster. Let's turn on the chorus. The harder I strike the keys, the less tremolo there is. That is uh, programmed into the DX patch itself. I've been a big fan of Die Straits ever since the beginning of the 80s. And as they started to use keyboards more and more, I became even more obsessed with them. And when Brothers in Arms came out in 1985, I was very curious about what keyboards or synths they used on that album. And... Um, Keyboard Magazine, issue December 1985, to the rescue, where Alan Clark and Guy Fletcher goes through exactly what they used. And on the record, they used mostly the Synclavier and the DX1 for the synth sounds, no Emulator 2. But for the World Tour, Brothers in Arms Tour, they used the Emulator 2 for strings and the DX1 for strings mostly. There was just one analog synth in the whole synth setup for the Brothers in Arms tour, and that was the Roland Jupiter 8. So uh, when um, Electronic Supersonic presented his uh, DX7 banks a, a long time ago, I was very impressed by his programming of the DX7, and I'll link to his uh, YouTube page, YouTube channel in the video description, is also known as Hedge777. So all of these patches you hear here today are made by him so they're not mine to share if you want them you have to contact him directly for access to his sysx banks if he's willing to share them with you so uh, let's check out some more of these sounds which are very very similar to what dire straits used for many of their performances <laughs> <laughs> 